Hey everyone, we've always been really proud that you can use Unity to bring your games to over 20 platforms across desktop, mobile, consoles, and XR. And we continue to invest in bringing new platforms through our partners across the industry at Apple, Meta, Google, Xbox, Nintendo, and many, many more, so that you have the tools and features you need to take your game anywhere you want, even on day one. And now, with Unity Web, we've been investing heavily into our web platform support to give you more flexibility in how you reach some of those screens. We've added features and optimizations for browsers across desktop and now mobile. And it's a tremendous opportunity. 68% of gamers play on smartphones, and advances in mobile devices and network infrastructure have changed the landscape for browsers on small screens. This makes them not just more effective for running games, but also a popular new platform for casual gamers who are used to consuming bite-sized content online and want to jump in and out of games just as quick. Like you see here with Squad Blast by Ultrahorse. With Unity 6, we've optimized our web platform support to reduce load times specifically for mobile browsers and leverages advances in WebAssembly to increase performance on both Safari on iOS and Google Chrome on Android. And for added flexibility, you can embed your games in a web view or use our progressive web app template to make your game behave more like a native app with its own shortcut. And this makes it ideal, not just for full games, but also for vertical slices, press builds, or demos so that you can give players a chance to quickly sample your full multi-platform game without the hassle of downloading or installing a demo file. And speaking of demos, we've got a great one to share with you. Stratton Studios' latest project gives us a taste of the future of web graphics. They've used early access to the web GPU backend in Unity 6 to create this spectacular browser-based FPS sample called Project Prismatic. Let's check it out. Right? That was awesome. And we've been working closely with the Chrome team at Google to stress test WebGPU with large screens and complex shaders, which has led to some of the fantastic results you see here that showcase what's possible for the future of browser based gaming. Now, early access to the WebGPU backend is enabled today on Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge on Mac OS, Windows, and select Android phones. We've made these investments into our web platform support because we know you're looking for more ways to reach a wider audience and get players playing as fast as possible, bypassing any installation processes that could slow things down. And of course, we also want to get your games out there. And that's why we're working with Crazy Games, one of the leading platforms for web gaming. I'm going to announce the Crazy Web Game Jam. And in this game jam, you'll leverage all the power of Unity 6's web runtime support to create a game just for web browsers. And you'll even have a chance to win a Crazy Games publishing deal. And we'll be announcing the game jam theme to kick off development in November. But in the meantime, we'll be sharing web development tips, tricks, best practices, and exclusive goodies like asset store bundles and more just for jammers. And we think web offers a tremendous opportunity. And we want to make sure that you have what you need to take full advantage, while, of course, still supporting all the other platforms where players love to find your games. Thank you. <laughs>